to my second tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make ladders, teleporters, and doors with buttons and doors without buttons. So we'll start by snapping down the grid twice with the left square bracket key. And make a simple floor. F floor. Fix the map by going to map, and to report, go to, that fixes the 3D camera. Draw, select the block tool, draw out the floor how you want it, as wide as you want it, everything like that. It's good to have it about a 16 depth, and enter. There we have our floor. So we'll start off by making our, let's start with a ladder simple list of them. Browse for a texture you want. Let's go with wood. Wood usually works well for ladders. And block tool. This gets kind of complicated if you're drawing it out by hand. So I'll just show you how to do it. I'm just going to have it on partial, partial weight. We don't want it too thick against the wall. So, let's see if I can snap it to an 8. Once again, I'm going to square bracket it and go for 8. That should be good. And enter. Control, select it, and control C and control V. I'm going to take this one and move it out a bit. And back down the same dimensions. Mm, there you have the two sidebars. Now we're going to make rungs in it. So I'll select the block tool once again, between the two, make it much shorter, and enter. And select it again, control C, control V, back to the same position, just move it down, control C, control V. This is basically just do this over and over again for the height you want it. This makes better ladders, or the ladders look better than they would if you just simply painted on a texture. As you can see, these aren't even, so I'm just going to try to even them out a bit. This isn't working too well, so I'm just going to go in. Control C, Control V, and there we have what our ladder will look like. So I'll scroll out of the grids. This is what our ladder will look like now. So filter for a browse and tools texture. Click on trigger. So now we're going to make the ladder workable. So you select the block tool in front of the ladder just barely. I'm going to make this just in front of the ladder. And we'll go for a side view on this. Enter. So this is what it should look like now. Select the trigger texture block. Control T. Function ladder. And apply. Now whenever you go up to the ladder, you will be able to climb up it. So that is a simple ladder. If you want, you can skip time by not painting out all the rungs and everything. So next we'll do a teleporter, which is basically the same thing. So I'll just do a block tool of a trigger texture. I'm going to move it over from the door. Enter. So there's our trigger texture. This is what's going to teleport us. Now behind that, I'm going to browse the textures for sprites. This is what the teleporter will look like. In sprites, I'm just going to select a simple blue laser. Behind it, I'm going to draw out a block. Again, this is very, very simple stuff. If you've followed the first, or know half of what you're doing, you should be able to do this. So select the trigger texture now, control T, and scroll down to trigger teleport, name teleport one, apply. Okay, so what it should look like in game is blue lasers, and when you walk into it, it'll teleport you. 
but right now it won't teleport you because we do not have a teleport destination. To set a destination, click on the Entity tool, and over here change it to Info Teleport Destination. I'm just going to put this randomly in the middle of the thing. There's our destination, so we'll select it and right click on the properties and name it Destination 1. Apply put this anywhere in your map and you'll be teleported there. Once again, click on the teleporter, right click two properties and set the remote destination to destination one and apply. So now whenever you walk into the blue lasers, it'll be teleported to this destination. Very simple, very simple teleporter. Now we'll do a door, so filter for the trigger texture, or I mean, We'll start off by doing a door with a button, so filter for whatever text you want the button to look like. I'm just going to do a simple concrete button. I'll do a little block with a button on it, so I won't have a button floating everywhere. The ground. Move that out. Enter. So that's our little block. Now for the button, filter for a button texture, just anyone will work. You'll be doing this yourself, selecting all the textures and everything. But so enter. So that's what our button will actually look like right here. So select it and control T, change it to function button name button one apply. And you can fool around with all the sounds and the lip and everything. And now we'll make the actual door. So for the door, filter for a simple door texture. Again, you can use whatever texture you want. It doesn't make a difference. I'll make him make the door actually let's make it this way. So I'll put it on this side. Right there. Enter. That's what our door will look like. So click on the door, control T, change it to function door, name door one. Again, fool around with all this stuff as much as you want, the sounds and everything. Click apply. So that is now our door. Back to the button, click on the button, right click on it to get the properties. Right one. Right click, go down to properties, select the outputs, add output, target entities named, door one, via this output, open, and apply. So now when you press the button, the door will slide open. Very simple doors, and there we have it. Now if we want this door to run without a button, we'll just simply go to properties, the flags, and if you you choose this, you can put use opens um, when you go up to it and press E, it'll open it. And then we can take off the button. So now we don't need a button for it. And whenever you go up to it and press E, the door will slide open. So there you have your simple doors, teleporters, and ladders. Enjoy.